Item hashtag SCP-1290 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Research Sites 48 Alpha and 48 Beta have been established around the branch facilities housing SCP-1290-1 and SCP-1290-2, respectively. Activation experiments involving SCP-1290 have been indefinitely suspended pending a better understanding of its operational principles. Description SCP-1290 is a pair of prototype electronic devices that were built by Prometheus Labs as part of research into long-range teleportation. Each device consists of a platform 2M in diameter attached to a 5M x 20M x 3M main unit, both of which draw power from a dedicated generator. The two copies of SCP-1290 are located at diametrically opposed, antipodal, locations of the Earth with SCP-1290-1 located in Redacted, Colombia, and SCP-1290-2 located in Redacted, Singapore. When an object is placed on the platform of SCP-1290-1 and the main unit is activated, the object is instantaneously, less than or equal to 10 ms delay, teleported to the platform of SCP-1290-2. However, Due to what is suspected to be a design or engineering flaw, the object retains its orientation and velocity relative to the axis of the Earth. That is, when a stationary object enters SCP-1290-1, it exits SCP-1290-2 upside down and traveling east at approximately 930 m s See Addendum 1290-01 for more information. SCP-1290 came to the Foundation's attention following the closure of the Prometheus Lab's main facility and was secured and contained on slash slash by elements of Mobile Task Force Mu-4, debuggers. The chief engineer in charge of SCP-1290, DR Redacted, is wanted for questioning by the Foundation and has yet to be located. SCP-1290 is currently being reverse-engineered by Foundation research teams in an effort to understand and replicate its technology. Addendum 1290-01, Incident Report, Initial Activation Experiment on slash slash In order to establish the functionality of SCP-1290, Foundation researchers attempted to teleport a regulation 14 pound, 6.35 kilograms, bowling ball from SCP-1290-1 to SCP-1290-2, resulting in three casualties and severe damage to the research facility and a neighboring warehouse. Until SCP-1290 is fully functional and the source of this flaw is identified, activation experiments have been suspended.